G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. G'day guys, here we are again, another video. So this one is all about fatigue, exhaustion, and tiredness. And also, as the title of the video says, is your body trying to give you a sign that it's tired when it's making you feel exhausted and lethargic? So I have a really interesting kind of relationship with fatigue. Uh, as someone who has had a very athletic past and has always been high energy, I find it quite challenging to uh to not attack life with full force and go at it all gung-ho in a perfect world i could train six days a week i'd go for a walk on the beach every morning and i'd be vibrant and play with my my fiance and my son every single afternoon but as someone who's gone through brain trauma and brain surgery i need to be smarter around my fatigue and my exhaustion levels my brain is working on overload to physically uh, go through the daily functions of life that I am organically just more tired than I would have been before brain surgery. So I've got to be smart with my activity, smart with my social life, and smart with my work output. Even, even producing these videos, if I start to notice I'm really, really, really tired, I'll hit stop and I'll go have a rest. Your body is incredibly efficient at giving you alerts if you feel like you are fatigued and tired and a very cool aussie kind of abbreviation if you are cbf can't be then it's probably your body's way of saying hey slow down chill out go and lay down go and have a nap go and watch a movie take it easy your body is in overload don't push, push, push and strive and strive and strive to get a load of stuff done because I'm the biggest, uh, I guess, negative person at doing this myself. I try and get a thousand things done and be highly productive and squeeze as much into a week as I can and then I burn out and I have to chill for two, three weeks anyway. If I just do things in small increments, every single day or every second day, or once or twice a week, over time, those things would accumulate to the same output as if I would, as if I jammed 15 different things into a week and had three weeks off being burnt out anyway. So guys, yes, listen to your body. It's very good at giving you signs and alerts. If you feel CBF, or if you feel tired and fatigued, have a rest. Uh, you're not gonna change the world by being super strong and heroic and pushing through. I'm not saying be uh, lazy and don't try hard and don't try and get your body to adapt and get fitter and healthier and stronger and be more successful at work with your family. I'm not saying that at all. But if you know in your head that your body's trying to tell you have a rest, have a rest. Your family, your friends, your support network are not going to begrudge you because you are not feeling your tip top, your most energetic on one day. Just have a rest. If you have to cancel plans, if you have to do something, then go read a book or lock yourself in a bedroom in the dark and just chill out. Do it. Your support network will support you. And if they don't, are they really supportive of your recovery journey? Who knows? Guys, it's been five years since my surgery. I still have challenges with fatigue and getting too excited about wanting to jump back into life how I used to do it, training six days a week and having a, a, a butterfly of a, of a social life. Just take it easy. You're a new person. You're a new you. You've got a new brain, essentially, and you can only do what you can only do. So, yeah, just listen to your body when it's giving you signs to, uh, to rest when you need to. Guys, I'm very passionate about putting these videos out just to, to help support and show other brain surgery survivors they're not alone. Can you help me get these videos to them by just uh, giving a quick, simple like on this video and uh, chucking a comment below? I'd love to hear how you get around your fatigue. 
and your exhaustion and any little life hacks that you may have that uh, help you get through life or work or, or home life in a less fatigued state. I'd love to hear them. Uh, guys, if you have your health, you have everything. Peace.